Hey, it's Ryan O'Brien. So we just moved into a new house. We've got a nice chain link fence around the backyard. And within the first day of being here, which was only like a week ago, one of our dogs found a weak spot in the fence that was kind of off the ground and managed to squeeze her way through it. Back in here, as you might be able to see, she found her way through that, uh, through that chain link fence and got out a couple of times within the first day of us being in this home. So as you can see, I went to Lowe's. I picked up some uh, some rods from the chain link finch section that were about four four fifty a piece and drove them into the ground to try to plug up those holes a little bit Well, they're not the prettiest looking things in the world So I talked to my father-in-law and he had a pretty good suggestion of another way to do this because we've got other parts of this fence that she could also sneak through if she decided to do so but We're gonna plug these holes up a little more discreetly using these common tent stakes now these were a six pack of them at Academy Sports for $1.99. We're gonna drive these into the ground and plug up some more of these holes so the dog doesn't get out. A nice easy way and a little bit more discreet way to plug up those holes in your fence so your dog doesn't get out. So as you can see here, it doesn't connect to the ground. So if she really wanted to hard enough, she could push that out and probably worm her way under it. So we're gonna drive these stakes into the ground to keep that a little more attached and keep her from being able to, uh, to get out. By the way, this is the one right here. This is the sneaky one that gets out, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you little punk. All right, so as you can see, I've already stuck one in the ground here, hammered it in, hooked it right there underneath the fence, and I put it out at an angle, so I don't want her to be able to, so if she pushes on it, she gets a little bit more resistance if she were to try to get out, as opposed to straight up and down, where she may be able to get it bent and get it to slip out of the ground. So let me show you what I did here. We're gonna go down a little further. I'm gonna angle them in like so, kind of get it started with my hand a little bit, just enough to set it. And then I'm gonna take, now I'm using a mini sledge, but you could use a, a regular hammer as well. And it's just as simple as tapping those down in there. Well, I say just as simple. And off you go until it hooks on. And then just a little, there you go. So now from a distance, if you were to, let me get up off the ground here. So from here, you can kind of see them if you know where they are. But from here, obviously, you can't see those tent stakes as opposed to these here that you can see. And these cost me about half as much. So just go on down a few feet every so often, however far you need to go, wherever there's a weak spot in your fence, drive these stakes in, and ideally, the dog doesn't get out anymore. You have life hacked your chain link fence.